friends. Welcome back. It's so good to see you here with me today. I'm really happy you're here with me. It's a beautiful day in Seattle. It's a little cloudy, but I still see the sun. And to me, that's one of the most beautiful Seattle days, is when it's nice and overcast, not too hot. It's really nice. I like it. How is it where you are? Maybe you don't live in Seattle. Maybe you live somewhere else. If you want to let me know, tell me what the weather's like where you live in the comments. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Hello, friends, how are you? I'm so happy to see you. Hi, friends, hi, friends, hi, friends, hi, friends. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. And I hope that you are too. Hello, my friends. How are you? I'm so happy to see you. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. So happy to be here again with you. I look forward to this every week. Let's see if I can get this on loop. Let's push my pedal. My friend Sabrina is going to let me know about anything people are asking. Yes, Sabrina. Matthew Schulman says it's nice and cloudy and beautiful in Ballard. It is. And that Ballard, for those that don't know, is in the same city as Seattle. So the weather is very similar. And Matthew and Elliot, I'm so happy that you are with us today. Good morning. And Liliana says it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, sunny and warm day out here in California. She's Hi, rubbing Liliana. it in. <laughs> yeah, I think so. And Liliana is my friend watching with her kids and I appreciate it. I hope your bee stings got better as well. Uh, right. Your mom says it's hot and rainy in Florida. Hot and rainy in Florida sounds like where I grew up all right. I'm glad you're watching. Hi, Ma. <laughs> Good to see you here with us today. And Laura from Bella's Voice says hi. Hi, Laura. I'm so happy you're here too. Bella's Voice is an amazing organization that helps animals. They're a thrift store. So if I have shirts or cookware or shoes or things that I'm not using as much anymore that could go to another good home, I donate them to Bella's Voice and they get to give, they get to help them get to other people who need them, and all of their proceeds go to help animal sanctuaries. Pretty awesome. All right. Well, are you ready to start our book? I am. I've got a really good one for you today. In fact, I'm gonna get in closer to Sabrina so I can make sure that you see the book. Can you see it all right? We good? All right, this book is called Not Quite Snow White. Not quite Snow White. Who's heard of Snow White before? Raise your hand. Close your eyes and see if you can picture what Snow White looks like. Okay, and now let's read our story, Not Quite Snow White, written by Ashley Franklin and illustrated by Ebony Glenn. Once upon a time, everything was blue, like the sky, the end. That was a great book, wasn't it, friends? No? Okay, this time for real. Not quite Snow White. Okay. For Tamika, it was always the right time and place to dance and sing. Tamika had a hip-rolling happy dance, 
a swayful sad dance, a stomping mad dance, and a hair flicking just because she felt fabulous dance. She sang high with the tweeting birds and low with the croaking frogs. She's a friend of the animals too, just like me. I know some of you out there are friends of animals as well. She always shared her love of music and movement with an audience stuffed and unstuffed. Right, she's got her lovies here and she's doing her, her dance and singing for her audience, for her lovies and the animal friends. Look at the squirrel and the birds, they're all excited. Even that little babbit friend is so excited. Tamika seems really nice. Tamika loved the stage. It was her perfect place. She was the star of every show, and she loved every show that she started. She had been a cucumber, a space cowgirl, a dinosaur, and her favorite part, a singing mermaid. On stage, Tamika felt like she could be anything or anyone she wanted to be, but she had never been a princess. Now, she would finally have her chance. Look at this sign up in the school. It says, Mulberry's Primary's first Snow White, the musical, auditions tomorrow. That means that they all get to try out to see what parts they can play in the Snow White play. Tamika was so excited that she went to both days of audition for the Snow White musical. On the first day, she arrived super early. Look at that, she's the first in line. She helped friends with their lines. That's very kind. She kept count for the dancers and shooed butterflies from nervous tummies so songs could be sung. Sounds like she's a really helpful friend for everybody. After the audition, Tamika heard some of the other kids whispering. She can't be Snow White. She can't be Snow White. She's, she's too tall. Yeah, she's much, too ch she's much too chubby. And she's too brown. Are those kind things? No. And Tamika could hear them even though they were whispering. You know, if somebody says something unkind and you can see them whispering, even though you might not be able to hear all those things, you know that they're not saying nice things. That she can't be Snow White. She's too tall. She's too chubby. And she's too brown. Hmm. Remember when I asked you to picture Snow White in your head? Did your Snow White look like Tamika? Or did your Snow White look different? The thing about this book is we're going to find out Snow White can look like anything. Tamika looked at her legs. They were too long. Maybe the kids were right. A princess shouldn't be taller than her prince, should she? Or her princess? She looked at her belly. Maybe the kids were right. Maybe what they said was true. She couldn't remember any chubby princesses. Tamika looked at her skin. She was too brown. How could a girl with brown skin play a princess like Snow White? Could those kids be wrong? Maybe she was wrong for wanting to be that princess. How do you think she feels, friends? Tamika slouched and sucked in her belly. She tried to pull down her sleeves, but there was no getting around being brown. For the first time, she didn't feel like singing or dancing. At dinner, Tamika didn't tap her feet or clang rhythms with her spoon. Is there something wrong? asked her mom. The other kid said, I'm too tall and too chubby and too brown. I'm not right to be Snow White, said Tamika. You've got it all wrong, said mom. You are tall enough and chubby enough and brown enough to be the perfect princess. Besides, said her dad, Snow White is just pretend. You've always been my real princess. You're just enough of all the right stuff, he kissed her forehead and said. Tamika smiled. Maybe her parents were on to something. Look at how kind they're being. They're reassuring her 
and letting her know that she is chubby enough and she is tall enough and she is brown enough to be the perfect princess. They're telling her that she's just right, just the way she is. That's a really positive message. At the audition the next day, Tamika watched all the other kids get on stage and do their best. Look at them, they're all practicing so hard. She's singing, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I won't, I, won't, I won't sing anymore, I know. My singing voice is not really great. It was Tamika's turn at last. She remembered what her parents had said, but her long legs were still a little bit jittery. And she closed her eyes and imagined she was singing and dancing for her favorite audience of friends, stuffed and unstuffed. Remember her stuffies and all her animal friends? Then she remembered the joy she felt when she was performing. Tamika knew that she could do it. Look at her on stage. All her friends are watching. They're so surprised at how good she is. They didn't believe in her, but she believed in herself. And she did. She shone like the star that she was. She could act. She could dance. She could sing. She loved herself as much as she loved music and movement. We love music and movement too, don't we? Tamika was a perfectly poised princess. And when her audition was over, Tamika looked out to smiling faces. And Tamika wasn't too much of anything. Maybe she was just enough of all the right stuff. The end. Look at that. What crown is she wearing? What clothes is she wearing? You see, in the beginning, we can see she's wearing her regular clothes and she's looking in the mirror, holding up the Snow White outfit and imagining herself as Snow White. She's a really great Snow White, isn't she? So she dreamt it. And I'm gonna reference back to one of our books, the Push Through book, that if you can dream it and you believe in it and you work hard for it, Anything is possible. You remember that? If you dream it, if you believe it, and you work hard for it, anything is possible. She dreamed it. She believed in it. And she made it happen. And she did that even when some other people didn't believe in her. And you know what? They were talking, and they weren't, you know what's interesting about this? They weren't even really trying to be unkind. They were just reinforcing the things that they learned. They only knew Snow White to be played by a white person. But Tamika really wanted to be Snow White. And just because she has brown skin or she was taller than the Snow White that they knew, or maybe she was a little chubbier than the Snow White that they knew, was were those good enough reasons for Tamika not to be allowed to be Snow White? Yeah, I don't think so either. So she heard all that and that hurt her feelings. And that's what I want to talk about today with this book. The things that people say about us can really affect us and make us feel bad and poorly about ourselves. Like when I was a kid, some people said to me, my nose was too big and my hair was too curly. And when I was little, all I wanted was a smaller nose and I wanted straight blonde hair. It's true, I did. But then I had other people like my parents, my mom and my dad that said, I was beautiful just the way I was. And my nose was perfect. And I didn't need a smaller nose for my nose to be great. So I learned to love my nose. And I learned that my curly hair was really fun. And I love my curly hair. I didn't need it to be blonde and I didn't need it to be straight because my hair was special just for me. And Tamika could also be Snow White, even though she didn't have white skin, or maybe she was chubbier than the Snow White that she grew up watching. So this book teaches us that the things that we say about other people can really affect them. And it also teaches us the things that we hear about other people can change the way we think about those other people. But one thing that's really, really important is that we always keep kindness at the center of what we do and what we think and how we act and how that looks. Let's say right now, maybe you noticed I painted my nails. 
or actually, Sabrina painted my nails. Thank you, Sabrina. Don't they look so nice? I think so too, friends. When I was a little boy, there were some people that would say to little boys like me growing up in the 1980s, long, long ago, they'd say, boys can't paint their nails. That's for girls. Girls paint their nails because that's what girls do. Boys can't paint their nails. Boys can't wear pink. Boys can't wear fun jewelry. Boys can't wear fun patterns like this. And I thought, that's not fair. I want to paint my nails. I want to wear fun colors. I love the color pink. And I want to dress in ways that make me feel good and beautiful too. Should that only be for girls? You don't think so? What if, what if you do think so? How come? Why, why would people think that painting your nails is only for girls? How come? What if I told you, you know what? Playing the bongos is so fun. I love playing the bongos. They're really, really cool. But you know what? You can only play the bongos if you wear pink hats. If you don't have a pink hat, you can't play the bongos. Sorry. Bongos are only for people that wear pink hats. Sorry. Would that be fair? I don't think so either. Because, yeah, I have a pink hat and I have a bongo, but would I say, sorry, Sabrina, you can't play a pink bongo because you don't have, a, or you don't have a bongo, so you don't have a pink hat, you can't play a bongo. Or should I tell my mom, sorry, ma, bongos are only for the buzz because he's got a pink hat. That would be so unfair to everybody else who wanted to try the bongos too. I want the bongos to be for everybody. I want pink nail polish to be for everybody and fun jewelry to be for everybody. And just like our friend Tamika, she can be Snow White. You know, one time in the classroom, I heard something. I heard a conversation with a couple of three and a half year olds. Who's three and a half? Raise your hand. Sabrina, you're not three and a half. <laughs> you too, mom. Put your hand down. You're not three and a half either. Maybe, maybe Matt is. Matt Schulman might be. Not quite Snow White. Tamika says, I want to be Snow White too. Even though the only Snow White she saw in movies was a white princess. But she knew, I can do it. If I believe in it and I dream it and I work hard enough, I can do anything. One time in the classroom, I heard a couple of kids doing this. Just the same thing that we saw here. We saw... All of the kids whispering and talking about Tamika that she couldn't be Snow White. One time in the classroom, there was a kid who had brown skin and she wanted to play Elsa in a class pretend thing that the kids were doing. And some of the white kids said, you can't be Elsa. Elsa doesn't have skin like that. You can be Moana. But she didn't want to be Moana. She wanted to be Elsa, and they didn't let her. And friends, remember how we talked about racism and how racism is a huge problem? This is one of the things that you can do to help racism. If you ever hear anybody saying, Tamika can't be Snow White because she has brown skin. She can only be Moana. What can you say? You can say that's not fair. She can be whoever she wants to be. And you know what? If this girl wants to be Moana, even though she has white skin, she can be Moana. And if this girl wants to be Elsa, she can be Elsa. And you know what? If this boy wants to be Elsa, he can be Elsa. If I want to be Elsa, I can be Elsa. But would that be fair if you said, no, Bando, you can't be Elsa because you're a boy. Elsa is a girl. I can be whatever I want. You can be whatever you want. And you know what? Whenever you hear somebody in your life say, you can't do that, you can't be that, and you're not good enough, or smart enough, or, or white enough, or your hair's too curly, or you're too short, or you're too fat, anything that people say, don't believe them. If, if they're telling you nice things, that's something to listen to. 
But if people are being unkind, you can let them know. You say, that's unfair. Remember, we're going to speak up for other people and say, that's not kind. That's not fair. So just like we wanted friends to speak up for Tamika, we want to speak up for ourselves, and we're going to speak up for other people. If you think it's fair that I get to wear nail polish and pink colors and fun clothes and fun jewelry like I do, I want you to believe in that for everybody. We're going to work hard to make sure everybody feels included, everybody feels special, and nobody feels like other people are better than them. You know what the great thing about being a person is? There's only one of you in the whole world. Can you believe that? There's only one teacher bando. I love myself because if I look at my fingerprints, you know these fingerprints on your fingers? If I look at my fingerprints, there's no other person in the whole world with fingerprints like this. Only me. And you, everybody right now, whether you're a kid or a grown-up, I want you to look at your fingerprints right now. Do it. Yeah. You see those fingerprints? Those are the only ones in the whole world that are exactly like that, which means nobody else in the whole world is like you, which is amazing because the world needs you and we need each other, right? Right. <sighs> Thank you, friends. That was not quite Snow White. I love that book. Do you have any thoughts about that book? Do you have any ideas that you want to share about fairness? I know we talked about a lot in that book, but fairness is a big, big, big topic because fairness affects everybody. And if we're not being fair and kind to everybody, then there's always going to be some people that feel left out. And we don't want anybody to feel left out. So if you have something that you want to say about it, let us know and we'll come back to it. But I don't know about you. I'm getting ready for some movement. Ooh, we do have one before we do movement. We have a couple of thoughts and comments. Oh, great. I'm excited to hear these thoughts and comments. This okay. is my favorite part. So Gil says hello from a hot summer day in Portugal. Hi, Gil. Welcome back. In fact, you know what? While Gil is here, I'm going to grab myself a little kalimba. Like Gil plays. There you go, Gil, and for everybody else, music is so special. So, obrigado, Gil. Tracy says hi from Edgar. Oh, hi, Edgar. I'm so happy you're here. Edgar is one of my young buddies who loves to watch the show, and his mom, Tracy, is a scientist who is actually helping people figure out how to help the world get rid of these diseases and germs and viruses. So we need people like Dr. Tracy. Thank you. Um, Liliana says, thank you. She says, Annabella and she are doing much better. From oh, the, the good, bees. Annabella. I'm so happy to hear that. I know you and your mom got stung by a lot of bees. So I'm glad you're feeling better. And they, uh, she loved the book too. Yeah, it's a great book. Happy to hear that. And your mom says an important lesson for parents is to allow their children to be who they want to be and embrace their choices. Not always easy, but so important. And if you're lucky, you can end up with a wonderful adult like my buzz. Oh, thanks, Ma. Well, for those of you that don't know, my mom and my dad had always taught me when I was a little kid that I can be whatever I wanted to be. I could do what I wanted to do as long as I was kind and I was caring, and I was respectful. So as long as I did those things, I could be whatever I wanted. And you know what? Thank you, Ma. I am who I am today because you were such a good parent. So thank you, Mom. Gil says sweet to the kalimba. Yeah, this is a fun one, Gil, and I put magnets on it to change the tuning. Mm -hmm. And Joanne Dern Palmer says, hi, Bando. Oh, hello. Welcome to Circle Time. Thanks for joining us. You want to see something cool? Watch what happens when I put the little kalimba on my bongo. Listen. Did you notice that? It got louder, right? Yeah, I love that. Are you ready for some movement? 
Let's do it. Let's stand up. Ooh, we got one more. Axe Haka says, hello friends. Thank you for sharing this beautiful message. I wish you were my teacher as a kid. So happy you are now. Hi. Oh, thank you Hi, so much. Hi, Sabrina. Hi. My <laughs> friends at Axe Haka make some really, really cool artwork. They take dolls and they make them all creepy looking. Who likes creepy stuff? I do. I love creepy stuff. I love sweet things, but I also like creepy kind of scary things. It's one of the fun things to play with emotions. Maybe before circle time's over, I'll grab one of the prints and I can show you. But for right now, we're gonna get started with some movement. I don't have a lot of room here because as you remember, my internet wasn't working upstairs. So we're gonna do our movement here. Are you ready? We're gonna start with our jumping jacks. We're gonna do three rounds of 10. We're gonna count down and at one, we're gonna do a blast off. Are you ready? So everybody stand up with me. Okay, kids, are you ready? Here we go, we did 10 jumping jacks. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, blast off! And I counted wrong. Let's do it backwards. We're gonna start at 10 and go down. Are you ready? All right. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Hey mom, I see you sitting on your couch. My mom isn't doing her jumping jacks. I see you over there. Mom, get up and do your jumping jacks. Everybody say, mom, come on and get up and do your jumping jacks. All right, this is for everybody, but ma, are you ready? Okay, everybody, here we go. 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Your what did my mom say? How'd you know? How would I know? I know my mom, and I knew she was sitting on her couch and not doing her jumping jacks. So, if you're with me, jumping jacks it is. All right, here we go. We're gonna run in place. You know, movement is so important for our bodies. It helps my heart beat faster, which helps the blood pump in my body even more. Now I'm gonna wiggle my arms. You see, all of this movement helps my energy. And the more I do it, the more it helps my body feel good and healthy. Now freeze. Now put your hand on your heart. Do you feel it beating really fast? Let's do it even faster, you ready? Okay, everybody right in place. Put your arms up, shake your hands, put your arms down low, shake your hands, put your arms in the middle, shake your hands, keep running. Now, give yourself a hug while you're running and turn around. Look at that. All right, now put your hands behind your head and turn around. And now put your hands on your eyes and turn around. Oh, that one's tricky, now freeze. Now feel your heart. Yeah. That is a great way for me to get my energy up. Did you enjoy that? I did. How about you, Ma? Yes, Sabrina? Bando didn't say so. Uh, did I say, did I do Bando says? No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Oh, I see. Well, you know what, Sabrina? That's what we're going to do. Are you ready for Bando says, friends? Let's do it. All right. Bando says, stand on one leg. Remember, if I don't say Bando says, don't do it. Okay, put your leg down. Did I trick you? Okay, Bando says put your leg up. Bando says put your leg down. Bando says put your arms up. Bando says give yourself a hug. Bando says take one hand and touch your cheek. Bando says take the other hand and touch the other cheek. All right, now put your hands on your head. Did I trick you? Some of you I did, some of you I didn't. Okay, now I'm gonna do it a little bit faster. Are you ready? Bando says stand up on your table. Wait a minute, don't do that. Bando says get down. Just kidding. Bando says jog in place. Bando says freeze. Bando says jog in place. Bando says freeze. Bando says sit down. Bando says stand up. Bando says sit down. All right, stand up. All right, now jump. All right, now do this. Did I trick you? Ah, some of you I got, some of you I didn't. Bando says, 
Put your arms up. Bando says, give yourself a big hug. And Bando says, I love you. I do. I love all of you. And I'm glad you're with me. Yeah, Sabrina? Bando should remind his friends to touch, when they touch their face, they should wash their hands first, maybe. <laughs> That's true. Bando says, touch your face. Here's the thing. If you're in your home right now, I think you're in a safe little bubble where you can touch your face like that. But if you remember from our last lesson, we talked all about hand washing and not touching your face. But you know what? I haven't gone outside today, so right now inside my house, I feel clean enough that I can touch my face. But remember, I'm still not touching my mouth, putting my fingers in my nose or my eyes. That's how I protect myself and keep myself healthy. Yeah. So let's do some mindfulness, shall we? Gonna move the instruments out of the way. And I have my very special instrument here called the monochord. And this is going to help me feel mindful. Are you ready, friends? So we're gonna do our mindful breaths. And so what we do is we're going to close our eyes, we're going to pretend it's our birthday, and you can see the birthday cake in front of you. And I want you to take a big, deep breath in through your nose. Smell that birthday cake. And then blow out the candles through your mouth. Yeah. And so we'll do this a bunch of times. Are you ready? We're going to take a breath in. And breathe out. Do you feel friends? Do you feel calm? Do you feel relaxed? Good. I know I do. It's so helpful for me. I love this instrument so much. But you know what? If I'm doing mindfulness, I don't need an instrument. I could just sit and focus on my breath. You don't need any special tools. Anybody can do this mindfulness any time in the day. So, you can do that. We're going to have a little music jam. So, friends, if you have an instrument at your house, I'd love for you to join along. You ready? So, we'll do a little music jam. I know some friends have ukuleles or guitars or bass guitars. You know I love the bass guitar. So, you can play along with me. You ready? I've got my bongo. Some music. If you have a question or you have something you want to say, let us know in the comments and Sabrina will let me know when you have something to say. Yeah, Sabrina. Your mom would like to know what that instrument is called. That's called a monolina or a monochord. It's a very cool instrument and it only has three notes. All of these strings are tuned the same. Listen. That's all one note, even though 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 of the same note. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of that note. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of that note. So I have three notes, and it's one chord. It's very calming. 
then up here I have beep, 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 beep. Yeah, so I love that. It's my meditation instrument, and I got it from my friends at We Play Well Together. Um, Cecilia says she doesn't have an instrument, so she grabbed two spoons and it works great. You know what, Cecilia, that's a great idea. Sometimes if we don't have instruments, we can improvise, right? Even if you don't have an instrument, you can bang on tables, you can use spoons. That's the great thing about music, is music is all around us. I can even... Music is everywhere, even on my head. Thank you, Teacher Cecilia. That's a great suggestion. And Matthew says Elliot likes the bells. He's jumping to the beat. Awesome. I'm happy to hear that. And Gil says we play well together is cool. Yeah, we play well together is awesome. That's where I get all of my cool instruments like the sansula and the kalimba and the monochord and my zenko drums. Those are really cool to me. Maybe I'll bust out one of those. In all right, let's get this going. says your classes are very enjoyable, Bando. Oh, thanks, Joanne. Which Joanne is that, Sabrina? Joanne Dern Palmer. Oh, thank you, Joanne. We're so happy you're here. You know, it means so much to me to have people joining me. We live in a world where there's lots of sad news, and there's lots of things that happen that don't feel very good. But you know what? Circle time with Teacher Bando is the time for us to get together and feel empowered and feel like we got this. We can do anything. We believe in ourselves. We believe in other people. And we're going to make sure that we're doing the right thing for all of our friends. Yeah. Well, I'm going to grab the other drum here that I was mentioning from We Play Well Together. And I'll show you what this one sounds like. This one is very special. Music is really cool because music comes in all shapes and sizes. Check this out. This has been 
and fun, friends. Do you have any ideas about how you can help others? Like Tamika's parents helped her, even when some of the kids in the school were not being kind about her being Snow White. Do you have any other ideas about how you can help friends feel like they are good enough to be something? Do you have any ideas about how you can help other people feel like they can be anything they want to be? If your friend asks you to paint their nails pink, you should do it for them. Ha ah, well, you know what? That's true. My friend Sabrina here last night, I said, Sabrina, will you paint my nails pink? I haven't had my nails painted since the last time I was in the classroom. But because we're in quarantine, I haven't been in my classroom in a long time, which is why we get to have circle time together like this. And so... For this story, I knew it was really important for me to get to paint my nails again, because guess what? Some people have said, Teacher Bando, you can't have pink nails because pink is a girl color. <sighs> is pink a girl color? Or is pink an everybody color? Yeah, it's an everybody color. What if I said, you know what? You can't wear a bracelet with rainbow hearts. Rainbow, bra rainbow heart black bracelets are only for people whose name is Banjo. That wouldn't be fair, right? That wouldn't be fair at all. I think we should all be sharing. In fact, I'm going to share my rainbow heart bracelet with my friend Sabrina because I know that she really likes that bracelet too. Thank you. So we can help each other. You are welcome. Well, friends, if there's nothing else to talk about, I think that's gonna wrap us up for this week. This has been really fun. I love this book. I really appreciated you joining me for it. And you know what? We can, uh, we can say goodbye. And you know what? We'll do our welcome song, but we'll do it backwards. We'll do the goodbye song. Let's see here. There we go. Apparently, my tambourine wants me to play it too. So we'll get you back involved, tambourine. All right. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to all my friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. I'm so happy you joined me. I will see you here next week. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye to all my friends. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad we could be together. I'll see you next week. Yes, it's true. I'll be here for you next week. Next week. Next week. Yes, 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 yes. Next week. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Ma. Thank you for being here. Tracy says thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Edgar. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, El Elliot. Joanne says thank you. And uh, Joanne? The yeah. The circle time helped teach Kobe a lot. Oh, that's really great. Kobe, I miss you. I miss seeing Kobe at school. I miss you, Kobe. I miss being with you at school. Yes, Kobe. I miss you all. Gil says, Obrigado, Bando. Obrigado, Gil. <laughs> Obrigado, Gil. In Portugal. In Portugal. We'll see you next week, Gil. Gil has the record for being the farthest person away from Circle Time watching. I think it's nighttime for Gil in Portugal right now. So let's say goodnight to Gil. Good night. Good night. Good night to my friend Gil. Thank you. Obrigado. We'll see you next week. <laughs>
Axe Haka says thank you with many hearts. Oh, thank you, Axe Haka. I love their stuff. You know, I'm gonna have to show you some of their art. Their art is upstairs, so I can't run and grab it. But should, do you want to see some of their creepy doll stuff next week? Okay, we'll show you creepy doll stuff. Yes, it's true. They got the creepiest things, yes, just for you. And if you want to support, they support the animals and Black Lives Matter. Thank you, Wax Haka, for being you. Putting so much goodness into the world from you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Christina Herm says hello and goodbye from Sierra. Sierra, thank you so much for joining me. Sierra is also at my school. Sierra, I miss you at school, but thank you for being here. You're cool. <laughs> thank you, Sierra. So goodbye. Bye.